filler in the lips has become uh, very popular. Uh, I think our philosophy here is, is that less is more. <coughs> All right, so I'm just going to do a little prick test. Let me know if it's sharp. Um, too much filler in the lip looks unnatural. Uh, it can distort the natural contours of the lip, uh, particularly towards the middle of the lip where you have a slight depression in the centre called the philtrum. Uh, too much of that uh, can uh, look overly inflated and look unnatural. I think it's important to keep um, a small amount of the lip line uh, which improves the volume of the lip and the contour of the lip without giving it an unnatural fullness. A little bit more through there. Just to bring that down a bit, yeah. and just a tiny bit in the corners. Yeah, no, there should be fine. Yeah, cool. In the lip, we want to use a softer preparation uh, that may not last quite as long as other areas that we may use it, but it, it, it gives a softer, more natural look and feel to the lip. Here we see some filler being used in the upper lip. It's the same sort of filler that one would use in the tear trough underneath the eyes uh, or in the, the, the nasolabial folds as, as we've seen previously. Uh, it's a, a synthetically produced gel that's um, naturally occurring and very safe. I think it's also very important when uh, addressing the lip that we balance the upper and the lower lip, that the, the upper lip is not too full. Naturally the lower lip tends to be slightly fuller than the upper lip and I think it's important to keep that balance. The other thing is, is the philosophy of less is more very important here in the upper lip. We've all seen overdone upper lips with loss of the natural lip shape, uh, which I don't believe is aesthetic. Uh, it's important to not lose the dimple or the central part of the lip that we've called the philtrum, and just small amounts towards the side of this uh, can give a, a nice natural fullness, can remove some fine lines in people who may have those, uh, but still give a natural appearance. And we've all seen um, an unnatural overdone look in the upper lip. That'll do you for now. Yeah. Let it all settle down yeah. and we'll revisit you in a week if there's any adjustments we need to make. If you're interested in cool sculpting or any of the other procedures we have to offer, visit us at drsellers.com.au where you can find links to more information on all of those procedures and how to contact us. And we look forward to looking after you.